Hello everyone, I hope you're having a terrific day. Welcome to Hasta from Macarvo's channel. Today's video is about the introduction to the ABS systems. I'm gonna keep it super simple because this is going to be the first one of a series of videos that I'm going to do about the ABS system. So what we're going to do, we're gonna start with the simplest. And that is where the signal is generated. And by doing it this way, you'll get an idea of what goes on, where it starts, and how it translates to the rest of the components. That way it will make sense at the end versus trying to give you all this information at once that would only confuse you. So just like I said, we're going to start where the signal generates. So the signal is going to be generated at the speed sensor which is also called the ABS sensor because of course it's for the ABS system. And inside the sensor there is a permanent magnet with a cold wire wrapped around it. There are two wires that come out and obviously there is a plug that connects to it. That plug is going to go either to the ABS module or the ECM, engine control module, depending on the manufacturer, they're going to decide how they're going to wire it, but you're going to see two wires. Right next to the sensor, there's going to be a reluctor wheel that is also known as tongue ring or tongue wheel, and it rotates as the tire rotates. Uh, you'll see teeth, and as the teeth go by, when the tire is moving, the magnetic field is going to change. There needs to be a proper gap in between the tone ring and the ABS sensor or speed sensor. The average gap is going to be anywhere between 10 thousandths of an inch and 20 thousandths of an inch. Anything that interferes with this gap like dirt, rust, grease is going to affect the signal and that could be the cause of an ABS light coming on. Not necessarily a bad sensor but a lot of corrosion built up. So it's important to always check that. And it could also be the same way. If the gap's too big, then the signal is not going to fluctuate the way it should. And the reading will be off. So make sure you check the gap when you're doing any visual inspections. Make sure that the reluctor wheel or tongue ring is not missing teeth. That's important. So I already said that there's a magnetic field that changes as the tongue wheel rotates. And as I wrote it here, the magnetic field created by the sensor's permanent magnet increases and decreases as the teeth of the tone wheel go by. The voltage output is going to range from 0.65 volts around 5 miles per hour and it can go as high as 9 volts at higher speeds. Now to test this, to find out if it's putting out this kind of voltage and if you don't have an ABS scanner, it's okay, you can still do it with a regular voltmeter. But you're going to have to set it at the AC scale because these voltages are very very small. So once the voltmeter is set to the AC scale, you unplug the connector and you're going to hook the leads to it. You raise the vehicle, obviously, and whichever sensor you're going to test, you're going to spin it. To do this test, it's going to be a lot easier if you raise the whole car or at least both of the wheels that are attached together, whether it's the front or the rear. And once you do that, like I said, you have it connected, you have it on the AC scale, and you start spinning the wheel in question. But you need to spin it fast enough to where at least it reaches the 5 miles per hour. Why? Because once it reaches the 5 miles per hour range, your AC voltage is going to be around 0.65 volts. Uh, you won't be able to spin it too fast by hand, obviously, so you need to expect at least that to know whether the sensor is putting any voltage or not. And remember, you already checked the gap you already did a visual inspection, make sure the tongue wheel is in good shape, make sure there is no grease, dirt, grime, all that kind of stuff to make sure that you're going to get an accurate reading and it's not going to be interfered by anything else and you're going to replace a sensor that didn't need to be replaced. So, very very simple. Just like I said at the beginning of this video, I'm not going to start in the super complicated mode because I'm planning to do more. And if I give you this information gradually and give you enough time to understand it as you go, then by the time we're done with this video series, the ABS system is going to be very, very easy for you to understand. And now you know where the signal is generated, which is the ABS sensor, aka speed sensor. You know what the tongue wheel is. You know how to test it. You know the gap. Very, very good beginning. So thank you so much for watching this video. And make sure you keep an eye on our channel and stay tuned for the next video because we're going to continue with this series. Take care. Have a good one.